Pastor Apollo Kibuloy is hiding somewhere in the country following his two pending warrants of arrest for child abuse and qualified human trafficking. According to Justice Spokesperson and Assistant Secretary Miko Clavano, Kibuloy should appear in court as they have also requested that he surrender. The pastor is listed in the lookout list of the Bureau of Immigration. The Metropolitan Manila Development Authority assured it will adhere to the directive of President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. to reject the Joint Traffic Circular No. 1 of Metro Manila Council seeking higher fines on illegal parking in Metro Manila. The agency said it will stick to the 1,000 pesos fine for attended illegal parking and 2,000 pesos for unattended. The Department of Transportation spearheaded the Memorandum of Understanding Signing Ceremony together with Clark International Airport Corporation, Luzon International Premier Airport Development, Department of Tourism, and other stakeholders for the first ever check-in facility in the country, which will be in the mall in Clark, Pampanga. The agreement aims to make the passenger flights more comfortable out of Clark International Airport. With such a facility, passengers can now head to a mall near the Clark International Airport rather than wait at the airport. The Department of Tourism reports the country has received more than 2 million international visitors this month. The country's tourism receipts from January 1 to March 31 have also accounted for around 157.62 billion pesos, which translates to an estimated 120.70% recovery rate from the 130.59 billion pesos revenue gained from the same period in 2019. South Korea remains the country's top source market in terms of inbound visitor arrivals with 27.19 percent, followed by the United States with 15.71 percent and China taking third with 6.49 percent. Joshua Garcia from the National TV Network for a new and better republic.